Assalamu teachers, this is our fifth video for lesson plans. Today we are going to discuss about the third stage which is actually the reading stage of our lesson plans. Now the reading stage is considered one of the most important stages of our lesson plans. One of the most important reasons why this is actually an important stage is that this is actually an input stage. Now when we say this is an input stage it means the kids would be reading the paragraphs, they would be reading the page of the book or the information from any given resources by you and after reading that they would be actually learning the required information. For example this information could be related to the grammar, they would be identifying, underlining or they could be highlighting or circling the main grammatical items after reading the paragraph. They would be actually identifying the main uh, concepts which are teaching to the kids today. So loads of things which actually the teacher does in the classroom are getting done by the kids and that's what actually we want. We want the kids to be engaged in the classroom. We want the kids to be thinking as well. We want them to work uh, by themselves on certain tasks. Now, while you're planning this reading stage, it's very important to plan in such a way that it's an interesting way for the kids to work on. Now, for example, if you're conducting the reading for a long time, let's say for 10 to 15 minutes, it's a very long time you're giving to the reading stage although, but uh, if you still want the kids to uh, do reading for at least for 10 to 15 minutes, uh, we'll have to decide certain activity or uh, such a strategy by which we can make it very much interesting for the kids to read that and to learn the information because we don't want to make them bored. Now let's put yourself in a certain situation in which your, your teacher said to you or your trainer said to you to sit at one place for about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, keep reading the given text. You don't have to move around, you don't have to stand, you don't have to raise your hands or even you're not allowed to make the questions. Although this doesn't happen everywhere but sometimes it happens in some of the classes with some teachers. So uh, you're not allowed to stand up, you're not allowed to discuss with the friends as well who are sitting with you, you're not allowed to make the questions to your teachers as well or the trainer as well. You can feel that how much it's gonna be boring for you, you know. So you would feel tired even after for sitting for five to six minutes. You would start getting bored after five to six minutes. You would like to share some information with someone. If you're stuck at some point, of course your teacher or trainer would help you because they won't mind giving you help. And this normally happens in the classroom as well. So helping is actually not enough. Or just reading by sitting for a long time is actually not enough. We want to have some fun as well. We want to have some joy as well. We would like to share the information with our friends because this is where uh, we want to see ourselves I mean how much and how well I have understood the text. The same way the kids also demand the same things. They don't want to sit for the long time at one place and just keep on reading one thing because here they're reading the information, they're working on the right, right task but this right task is not actually getting executed in the most effective way. Now what most of the people say the effective way of executing the reading task is to make it interesting by adding certain activity, by adding certain group work, because in the group work the students will read together, they will support to each other, they will try to find out the maximum information. When the kids are working alone then definitely they, are, they will be able to find out at least four to five main points. But when the kids are working together in the form of groups, uh, they would be supporting each other, helping each other to find the maximum points. This is why they're going to find out for about 10 to 15 points. And that's exactly what we want. We want them to extract or find out the maximum information which is given in that paragraph because that's more effective. At the same time, if we would give certain worksheet which has some questions, which has some MCQs types questions, true false or filling the blanks or summary type of the question and of course this means we are giving them certain challenge as well. And if you're going to conduct this uh, task in the form of competition among different groups, this task or this reading is going to become more and more interesting for the kids.